What is up everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Building Nasty Love. Today, we're going to be installing this front brake kit from Aerospace Components. So let's get to it. This is a really trick kit from Aerospace. It has billet aluminum four pot calipers, um, comes with custom billet aluminum spindles, all aluminum made parts. So this is gonna be a lot lighter than the stock cast brake system. And this system should add a lot of braking power to the front end to keep this truck safe because we're gonna be adding a lot of power. All right, so first thing we gotta do is get this bad boy jacked up. So we are going to start by ripping off all of the wheels and we're going to drain all the brake fluid out of the system so that uh, we can have some nice fresh brake fluid uh, for our new brakes. Alright, so our next step here is to take our vacuum bleeder here and suck out all the brake fluid out of these reservoirs. And then we're going to go to each wheel and drain them of all the brake fluid. All right, now that that's done, we're going to go around to each wheel and drain those out. All right, so the next thing we're gonna work on here is getting these calipers off and the rotor slash spindle, or I guess the hub assembly. It, this all comes off as one piece. There is a nut under this dust cover. Um, we got some 17 mils holding on the caliper itself. And we got the line under here, which is also a 17 mil. So uh, let's go ahead and get that off. While I'm doing this, my buddy's gonna work on the other side, get that side done so we can get this done quickly. So let's get to it. So now that we have the brake line and the caliper off, it is time to take off this dust cover here and get to the axle nut so we can pull off this whole hub assembly. All right, so now we gotta take out this cotter pin here. There is a little retaining cap and then the nut. So we got this nut here, and these are usually actually just hand tight, which it is. Comes right off. And this hub assembly actually has the wheel bearings in it. So when we pull this off, you will see right there, right there behind this washer is the actual wheel bearing. And these are getting replaced. We have new wheel bearings. And if you see there, this one is actually pretty chewed up. So it's a good thing this is getting replaced. So up next, we have to get this backing plate on, which actually holds on the caliper. Um, and in order to do that, we have to take off the old dust shield here. It is just four bolts, uh, three 14s and one 17 millimeter. This will come off. It comes with new countersunk bolts. We'll put this on there. Uh, we'll put the rotor on with the new wheel bearings. We still got to go get some grease for those. And then we will shim out the caliper so that it is centered on the rotor.
So after cleaning off this spindle here, I've got the bracket I put all the bolts through. We put the bracket on just like this. They have some countersunk bolts here. And I got some locking nuts that we put right here on the back. And we'll tighten this down. All right, so our next step before we can put these new hub assemblies on is to pack the wheel bearings with the wheel bearing grease. So let's get to it. So this is a fairly simple process. You take some grease, put it in the palm of your hand like this, and you scrape the bearing like this to pack it. Then we set this in the hub just like that and we put on our seals. Okay, so now we're going to put in the wheel bearing seal here. Just use a rubber mallet, let lightly tap all the way around until it hits its stop, which is about right there. And that is installed. All right, so I have the hub here. Everything is greased up. We got the spindle greased up. And now we are just going to slide this bad boy on. So now we put in the front wheel bearing, just like so. Okay, so we got the front wheel bearing on there. And I'm going to take my axle nut here, clean it off. Probably spray it with some brake clean. And there is a washer here that goes on before the nut. Now that, that is clean. It's just this washer just goes on here and then our wheel bearing nut and this just gets tightened down until there is a slight drag on the rotor and we put on the locking ring and put in the cotter pin. Now we're going to finish it off with this little dust cap, which has the aerospace components logo right on the front. Really cool piece here. And before I put on my caliper and my pads, I'm going to clean this off one more time because there is definitely some grease on it. We don't want that on the new brake pads. All right, so I completely forgot to record the whole process of putting this caliper on, so I botched that. But we had to space it out with the, some provided spacers so that it is centered on the actual rotor here. And now at this point, we're ready to literally just slide our pads in. This is all that they do. They just slide right in like that. And then we have a pin here that goes all the way through. And it has a locking nut that goes on the other end. Tighten that down. And that means that these front brakes are now completely installed. All right, guys. So here it is installed. The Aerospace Components Billet Aluminum Brake Kit. This should help the truck stop a lot better since it's going to have a lot more power. That's all we have for today, guys. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe. Leave a like. Turn on that notification bell and let's get to building nasty love.